In this video, I'll show you guys how to use your phone as a PC. This is actually a built-in feature in Android system now. So this works with almost any Android phone out there. The only thing you'll need a phone that is running Android version 15 or above and a decent phone that has decent amount of ram for better experience and there are two ways to do this one using a software and one you can directly connect your phone to a external monitor for that you'll need to enable some settings on your phone so we'll talk about that as we go through this video so let me show you guys a software method first so there is this free and open source software called scrcpy this is a really popular software maybe you already know about this Using this, you can mirror and control your phone from a PC. But in the recent version of the software, there is a new feature called virtual display. And this is the feature which allows you to use your phone as a PC. To download the software, you can go to the official GitHub page and then go to releases and then under assets, download this. This is actually available for Linux, Mac and Windows. So whichever operating system you're using, download this. So I'm using the Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows 64 one. And then I'm going to go to Downloads. And this is a zip file, so I'm going to unzip it. And then I'm going to go to the SCRCPY folder. Here you can run the SCRCPY program to mirror your phone. Now, before we can use the software, we need to enable some settings on our phone. So on your phone, open settings and then go to developer options. If you don't see a developer options, you have to enable it. For that, you have to go to about phone and then go to software information. And depending on what phone you're using, it looks different. I'm using the Samsung. So this is how it looks in the Samsung. Here, you need to find the option called build number. Okay, and tap on it multiple times until it says developer mode is turned on. And after that, you'll see the developer option at the bottom of your phone's settings. Okay, open that and here scroll down and enable USB debugging. Once you enable it, you can use this software to mirror your phone to your PC. Okay, just run the SCRCPY program or this one, SCRCPY no console VBS. Okay, whichever you prefer. So let me actually do this here. So I'm gonna run this. And now it's mirroring my phone. So this is a pretty normal thing that you can do. Like you can mirror your phone to your PC and then control it using your mouse and keyboard. But now, thanks to the new feature called virtual display in the software, you can use your phone as a PC or you can turn on the desktop mode on your phone and use it on a external display or on your PC. So let's click on the virtual display option here on the GitHub page, which will bring us to the documentation on how to use this and all that. So I'm gonna disconnect my phone from the SCRCPY and I'm gonna open the terminal. So there is even a shortcut.bat file here. So I'm gonna click on it to open the terminal. Here, I simply need to run one of these commands. So let's say for example, I'm gonna run this first command and I'm gonna use the resolution 1080p, the 16 by nine resolution, or you can use your phone's resolution as it is. So let me actually give you guys a demo. So I'm gonna copy this command. And one more thing I forgot to mention, make sure your phone is connected to your PC using the USB cable. And also make sure that you have installed a phone's drivers, like ADV driver. Now let's paste that command here and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna run this. And here you can see my phone is mirrored, but it looks different. And let's say I'm gonna open the Google Play Store here, but on my phone, there is nothing happening, okay? I can use my phone while uh, I have mirrored, not mirrored actually, while I'm using the virtual display, okay? So this is the desktop mode. Now in Android systems, this is a built-in feature starting from the Android 15. It's not that great on Android 15, but on Android 16, it's actually better. Now let's actually use different resolution. Okay, this one, 1920 by 1080. And I'm gonna hit enter. And here it is, the desktop mode. And I can also turn on the full screen. I think it's Alt F to go full screen. Yeah, it's the Alt F, okay? Now it looks weird because 
uh, this desktop mode on Android 15 isn't that great. It's still in beta or something, but it works. Okay, here are all my apps and I'm gonna open, let's say Samsung store. You can see it's opening in floating window. This thing might look different on different devices depending on what device you have this is on the samsung and you also have to enable the multi window for all apps from the developer option and if there is a option called desktop mode for external display you also have to enable that i'll show you guys how to do that don't worry on samsung multi window works differently it's not on by default there is this pill icon at the Top, I have to click on it and I'm gonna actually pin these options like resize it make it bigger smaller and all that uh, let's open the Play Store here now it's pinned I can minimize it maximize it I don't know how to kill it this is basically a desktop mode that I'm using again as I said on Android 15 it's a little bit wonky not on the performance side on the control side but if you have like Android 16 or above it's much better. Here is one of the screenshots from the Google on Android 16's desktop mode. This is basically a same thing that we are using here using the SCR CPY. And yes, I can use my phone while I'm using this. Okay, I can call. It's happening differently. Okay, it's using your phone's resources, but in the background on a virtual display or on a external display if you have connected your phone to a external display you'll probably need a type c to hdmi or something which i don't have so i can't give you guys a demo but if you have a accessories to connect your phone to a external display then yes it works similarly to this software just like a desktop operating system you can do multitasking and whatnot okay so depending on what phone you're using it will look a little bit different on samsung this is how it works it doesn't have a proper dock at the bottom or taskbar at the bottom as i said android 15 doesn't have the fully functional desktop mode it has the option but it's not fully developed so if you have android 16 it will give you better experience again you can take a look at the screenshot of this from google on android 16's desktop mode and this is a same thing that i'm using here but on android 15 and when you're using the desktop mode or virtual display you can use your phone yes i i can open apps make a call your phone is free to use <laughs> basically okay and to use the virtual display and the desktop mode of your phone or to a external monitor or to a pc you have to enable some settings on your phone in developer options usb debugging okay that is essential and after that you also have to enable these settings enable freeform windows and enable desktop mode it should be force desktop mode it allows you to have the desktop mode on a external display so you can connect your phone to a external display or you can use the software ser cpy and also enable multi window for all apps when you're on desktop mode uh, it will automatically open those apps in floating mode and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye